again, I'm Dave Apsley. I'm a forester and a natural resources specialist with Ohio State University Extension. Today I'm at the Waterloo Wildlife Area, which is in Athens County, and it's managed by Ohio DNR's Division of Wildlife. Today I'm here to introduce you to black maple. Black maple is a relative of sugar maple. It has lots of characteristics in common with sugar maple. It's one of the hard maples. It's also good for maple syrup production but it has a few differences that help distinguish it from sugar maple. It's found throughout most of Ohio. It tends to have an affinity for sites that have more limestone or alkaline type soils, so it's a little bit more scattered, not nearly as common as sugar maple. Its range in the United States is really the central states region. From Ohio out to about Iowa, Missouri, it'll get up into the lower part of the lake states and down into Kentucky and Tennessee. But again, this species is not nearly as common. So how do we identify black maple? Like most, like all the maples, it is opposite. So the leaves are gonna be paired. Remember, mad buck. Maple, ash, dogwood, and buckeye are all opposite leaf arrangement and branching. So leaves are gonna be paired or opposite from one another. <clears throat> like most maples, it has a simple leaf. The exception of that is box elder, which has a compound leaf. And those leaves typically have lobes, usually somewhere between three and five lobes. With black maple, it's very typically three-lobed. The leaves are fairly large, uh, three to maybe up to six inches in length. They typically have three lobes, and they kind of droop. If you really look at these leaves, they kind of curl and droop downward. They've got these three major lobes with not a lot of extra points or teeth along the way. The base has these two lobes that almost overlap with each other, which is kind of unique. And then another characteristic that really separates it from sugar maple is at the base of the petiole, or where the, the leaf attaches to the twig, you have these little leafy structures. These little leafy structures are called stipules, and they're typically on this tree throughout the growing season, and even when the leaves hit the ground, you can often find these strange little leafy structures right where the leaf attaches to the twig. The base of this twig is typically kind of swollen in those side or lateral buds are, are a little bit hard to find. Leaves typically turn more of a golden yellow in the fall and you don't see a lot of orange to them, but this one has a little bit of color very similar to what sugar maple looks like. In fact, just to compare and contrast, this is a black maple leaf, this is a sugar maple leaf. You can see this leaf's typically a little more smaller, more deeply cut, got more points on it, and then that base is not closed up or these two lobes don't overlap at the base. But that's a comparison between black maple and sugar maple. And again, black maple leaves tend to droop a bit. When we look at the twigs, they're very similar. They have kind of sharp pointed buds. These buds tend to be really dark in color, maybe a little bit hairier. And the twigs tend to be more mottled in color, so they're not a uniform color, they might be gray with some different colors and modeling going on. But again, fairly sharp pointed buds, similar to sugar maple. Um, if you stick your finger on the top of those, they're kind of sharp and they're almost a acute angle like a sharpened pencil. <clears throat> other characteristics are the fruit. Like other maples, the fruits are these little winged fruits. They're paired, they're called samaras. These make kind of a horseshoe shape these are a little bit smaller, only about an inch to an inch and a half in length. Again, they're pendulate, they have this little stalk, and then they're in pairs, and then when they break loose, a lot of folks, kids refer to them as helicopters, but they'll spin down, or whirly gigs, and they'll spin down and hit the ground. As far as bark, it tends to be very similar to sugar maple bark. It's thick and kind of platy on a mature tree but it often have a dark appearance and you'll have these dark streaks or very dark patches on it, which also can help some folks distinguish it from sugar maple. So again, this is black maple, Acer nigrum, and it's uh, not a very common species here in Ohio, but it's one that I really love. I really like the unique feature of the drooping leaves. It's also one that historically has been planted in the landscape. In fact, you go to some of the older towns southern Ohio, like Logan, Ohio, you're going to see a lot of these planted and they actually do quite well in an urban environment. So they tend to do better oftentimes than sugar maple and you'll see these and Norway maple and sugar maple out there 
but I see a pretty high percentage of black maple in a lot of these older towns. So again, thank you so much for your time, and please take at least part of your day to enjoy it in the woods.